Hello and welcome to this Price of Job tutorial. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the waterproofing module. To access the waterproofing module, we'll go to the Below DPC category here in the module toolbar and select Waterproofing. And then create the module. And this opens the waterproofing module. Here in the sketch pane, we have three different images for reference. Let's expand our sketch pane for a closer look. In image number one, we have a variety of membrane, drainage channels, and insulation, and this is just for reference. Here in image number two, we can see another variety of waterproofing methods, including drainage channels and the sump pump. And in image number three, we have a more detailed view of the membranes, drainage channels, insulation, plasterboard, and flooring. So let's minimize our sketch pane. Return to image one. And basically we see from these various sketches that this module includes waterproofing treatment for walls DPC for the foundation, or cellar, or basements as a remedy if there is already leakage or prevention if leakage is a possibility. And there's a variety of tools here to waterproof both walls and floors. So to start with, in the main stage, we can specify the area of walls to be waterproofed. In this case, let's say 25 square meters. And then we can specify whether we'll be using a membrane to waterproof these walls or a slurry, and a slurry is thin layers of a cement paste that's brushed on. If we won't be needing to waterproof any walls, we can just set this to zero. But for our example, let's say 25 square meters, and this adds the waterproofing walls stage below. So here we can select our membrane from the materials list. And you can see there are a variety of Newton membranes here, or we can select a supplied by client, or set a membrane allowance per square meter, or we can select Edit Pack to add a new material to the Price of Job library. If we're using a membrane, then we can also select the plugs from the next drop-down menu. Under the cog symbol, we can adjust the spacing for these plugs. And Price of Job will automatically calculate the amount of membrane we'll require, as well as the amount of plugs, and also calculate the labor for fixing the waterproof membrane. Currently this shows the labor per square meter, but we can also set this per hour. And we can see that this is a 12 and a half hour task. If instead of membrane we'll be using slurry, then in this case we can select the material from the drop down menu, or again indicate that it's supplied by client, or set an allowance, and this would be per bag. And this is indicated here in our automatic description that the slurry allowance is a 25 kilogram bag for 40 pounds. If we consult the estimate pane, we can see the slurry allowance is indicated here, as well as the labor. Here we can specify the number of coats of slurry to be applied to the walls, either one, two, three coats, however many coats we require. In this case, we'll say two coats. And we can select this box if we'll be priming the walls first. If we deselect this, we can see that's also updated here in the estimate. So we'll be priming these walls, and here we have the bonding primer and the labor for applying the primer. And under the cog settings, we can adjust the slurry coverage in kilograms per square meter, as well as the primer coverage in square meters per liter. Next, we'll take a look at waterproofing floors. Let's set our floor area to 18 square meters. And this creates a new stage for waterproofing the floor. And again, we have options to select either membrane or slurry. We'll start with the membrane and we can see here we have a drop-down list of materials for Newton membranes, membrane allowance, or supplied by client, or we can edit pack to add a new material. If we'll be using slurry, then for the waterproof floor, we can select our slurry material, supplied by client, allowance, or add material. We can set the number of slurry coats and the priming as well. And under the cog settings, we have our coverage. Next, we have a stage for floor insulation. If you won't be requiring floor insulation, you can deselect this stage, and it's removed from our description as well as our estimate pane. We can add this back in and then select our material for insulation. And the description updates to show that we'll be using rigid extruded foam or similar flooring insulation boards. Now, in some cases where waterproofing is not completely possible, you may require drainage to remove water from the basement. So in this case, we have the drainage and accessory stage here. And here we can select from the Price of Job library of materials. 
So for example, perhaps we require drainage channels for the perimeter of the basement. So we can select this and then input our quantity. Perhaps we'll need 10 two meter lengths. And then to attach these, perhaps we'll need some corner pieces. So let's set four corner pieces. And then we can select a sump pump and a water level alarm. And we also have categories here for waterproofing accessories, waterproofing membrane, waterproofing plugs, basement insulation, and sealants. So if there's any extra drainage or accessories that you require, you can add those in here. And this is all added to the estimate pane as well, including the labor for installing the drainage and accessories. In this case, 27 hours. And we'll notice in the project settings here that show profit has been selected. If we deselect this, we can see all of our costs on the labor and materials. And by consulting the project details here, we can see exactly what the profit markup on those materials and labor are. In this case, 20% across the board. If we'd like to consult the details on any of these items, we can select the COG setting for that particular material and visit the website. And here we can confirm the pricing as well as see any specifications for the various materials. And as we simply click through this very intuitive system, all of our materials and labor are all added and calculated here in the estimate pane for us, as well as a nicely written detailed description is added here that transfers directly to our reports tab. So now if we scroll down to our waterproofing module, we can see all the descriptions transferred directly over here, including the allowance for our slurry allowance, our waterproofing on walls and floors, drainage and accessories. And that's how to use the waterproofing module. Thank you for using Pricer Job. Thank you.